Uh-huh. uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Homeboy Sandman. And your boy OV. Uh, yeah. Uh, what you want I want to be able to reach inside into the lowest levels of my gut. <laughs> Exposing my soul, even up in the high. Not giving any less than a duck. <laughs> but what people might think or what they might say. I don't write and recite for other folks anyway. I do this for me. This is my therapy. Allow me to pull off the mental scabs and bleed the thoughts locked deep in my mind. Either straight prose or in poetic rhyme. Doing line after line from the ridiculous to the sublime. Or even the intense. You see, all that is fine. So let me say this again when I grow up. I'm gonna be like Selena Glenn. I don't want the attention and applause to make my poetry corrupt. I don't want to succumb to pressure buying culture in the box. I just want to be able to take mic in hand or into the slam. But not walking through the door looking for a perfect score. Just looking to recite on the mic till my voice gets raw. Doing poem after poem till the crowd can't take anymore. I used to be a microphone virgin, I'm a microphone whore. <laughs> Everyone wants to see it, but nobody wants to pay for it. Everyone wants to enjoy it, but nobody wants to be making it. We're often fooled it's real, even though they're all faking it. The ones that really make it though become legends. Household names in the annals, sorry, annals of history. <laughs> Words exploding off my tongue, igniting the crowd like an incendiary device. From a mere spark to a roaring flame, painted with my voice, a verbal epic, concentrated and compressed into the realm of three minutes or less. Grabbing the crowd by the throat the minute I open my mouth and never let it go. My voice straining, veins of my neck bulging, mind exploding just so that I could be heard. Escaping the monotony of this so-called life into a world of my own creation, a mental fortress built of my words, carefully stacked, watered in place. It's so interesting to sit here and see all the courage, passion, and talent that is in New York City on Thursday nights at the Inspired Word. Give it up one more time. Being subconscious the same way that tattoo wrapped around the forearm while being able to extend my arms and help remove those pins nailed through her palms. So her hands are free to write once again. There's no more ink, let blood be a stand in. And let me be able to confess all my sins while sharing my voice amongst women and men. And not being a poet in pursuit of three tens or selling my souls for a stack of Franklin's name Ben. And if you still just don't get it, I'll say it again when I grow up. I want to be like Selena Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> These are just thoughts, just ideas that pass through my mind. And a wise poet once told me, life is a monster of a mobster and you got to get your chops up if you wish to associate with that known thug. And that sounds about right. We lose sight of the fact that most poets still have nine to fives and ends to meet. On the calls of the birds, the sounds of the animals, this sense in Western society that if Homo became extinct, he would eventually reappear or be recreated. We are an inextricable part of the design of this universe. I split apart her delicate white pages like a wounded bull hungry for relief. My pen begs for mercy as I bleed. My thirst flows in between her lines that scream. Sweet dreams and terrifying nightmares. When a man has suffered so many horrors, he is forever changed, cured from his blindness. He abhors and abdicates the former system and takes on the war by force in search of his salvation. So my poem is called Love and Oral Hygiene, and it's a love story about um, falling in love in the bathroom. <laughs> I fell in love with you in the bathroom, intertwining trails of saliva as we eyed each other in the mirror, listening to the electric hum of our hand motions, we'd apply lotion all over our bodies. Can't you see that a spontaneous flow of nouns and adjectives combined with love looks and deeds is enough to overcome any measure of emotional need? Memories from my childhood. He wore a black suit and bow tie, a top hat and a twirling cane, with white rubber tips and a smile. Everybody Latino in the Bronx, boy. Everybody, everybody. I went to the Bronx Zoo. The animals were Latino. 
As I rip open my chest like ripe fruit bearing my heart, allowing my soul to be all that is me. To me, that slam. When the words flow, spew pure emotion, release like a torrential flood. My words reaching out to you, touching you in ways that no one else has, or in ways that maybe no one else ever will. To me, that slam. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, homeboy Sandman and your boy Ovin.